10 minutes, okay? Yeah, yeah. we haven't got presentations ready like everyone else. Um, but, you know, one thing we work on here with Trent is... Uh, it takes a minute, I guess. Something we'll be talking about a lot today, and that's trust. Uh, and that's pretty much what our product is about. One minute is going to okay. warm up. No worries. So Trent is a blockchain-driven recommendation platform. Uh, the concept of what we're building with Trend is to reward users for sharing verified recommendations as and when they need it. Uh, essentially, what the press has been calling us is the anti-tripadvisor, which we, uh, we really like being called. So there's a huge problem right now in the world how people are accessing reviews and recommendations. Um, essentially, the, some of the core values here are uh, they're definitely not authentic. Um, they're not personalised to individuals. Everyone, you know, you can go on TripAdvisor or Trustpilot and have thousands of reviews, and they're not connected to you. Whether you like art, music, surfing, you're into blockchain, so that's a really big issue. And there's constant influx of information. You're constantly scrolling. You're looking at outdated information, and. Most of all, why we're you know, incorporating web-free technology is there's no reward system. There's nothing to gamify and to help you to want to do more rewards. So essentially what we've been building over the past two years is a, a platform to build trust back into recommendations and reviews. Um, what's really been interesting today is to hear it from accommodation providers like yourselves. Um, and what Trends is really pushing is that real-time help for these reviews and recommendations. So you arrive anywhere in the desert, anywhere in the world, and you can get help from your community as and when you need it. Uh, we use NFT video verification because, you know, right now everyone's seeing the reviews on different platforms. You can be somewhere halfway across the world, never have gone to that accommodation or restaurant. You click I've done it and it completely takes your word for it. So we're using NFT video verification to, to prove that you were at this point, you were at this moment. And we'll be rewarding users with badges and incentivization for building more trust into our platform. With this as well, we have our token and our gamification. The more you help, the more you're honest, the more you're trustworthy, the more you share with people in your community, you'll be rewarded for that. We are in-app token, which we'll be able to use to be purchased more experiences. The concept of Trend is to essentially find your experience to live it. We're not a Web2 social platform like TikTok where we monetize the amount of time people are on it. Think of us as like one of those dating apps, you know, you, you download it to delete it when you find love. That's essentially what we're building with Trend. You find your recommendation, you find your review, and then you can live it, live your experience. So the, the idea of Trend pretty much came from when I was with my partner and I was in Chile and there was a mining strike and there was no petrol anywhere. And it was about 2 a.m. and I remember us driving down the road and I was like, there's no petrol, we're breaking down and I thought, there's nowhere right now I can connect with to get this help I need. I can go on Facebook and scroll, don't really trust that. You know, no one on TripAdvisor, Google, there's nothing that could actually connect me to a community to help me with those recommendations and I could trust. So what we're building with Trend is that exact reason. Anywhere you need help, you can share it or get it back from someone else. So that's what we're calling the help to earn model, which as I've said to you, essentially rewards community members with cryptocurrency for sharing your hyper-personalized recommendations. So I'm not sure how much everyone knows in detail about crypto or what is essentially the to earn movement at the moment. But for example, you know, you have the um, play to earn, which if you're really into gaming, you play in your cryptocurrency game and you get rewarded. You know, and this is one of the huge markets. And outside of this, you now have, you know, in the uh, movement and fitness world, you have move to earn. So you have companies like Step In, and you, you can walk down the street and you get you know, exercise and you get rewarded to actually, you know, to exercise. And with these, you know, tokens, you can essentially purchase uh, different uh, items. But there's nothing that's really actually sustainable or focused in the travel industry, and this is what we're working on with help to earn. Because with these models such as play to earn and move to earn, you're constantly just getting, you know, uh, the companies having to pay out, pay out, pay out, pay out, you know, in terms of utility. Um, but what we're building with trends and help to earn is I arrive, I, I can share my token with Josh for helping me, I can share it you know, with other people, and it kind of creates this more sustainable ecosystem of sharing token for helping and building more and more of that trust. Uh, and you can see some of the numbers here with the other to earn movements have made. 
uh, and we believe this is something that could be really interesting uh, in the travel in industry and much needed. So the current market is an interesting one, especially in Web2, and as you can see here, 88% of the whole uh, industry is controlled by uh, four major players, which I'm sure you all know here, which is Google, Facebook, uh, Yelp, and TripAdvisor. And the 67% of people that say these uh, reviews are said to be fake on, on different platforms. In 2020, there was a survey that was taking place uh, that two million reviews on TripAdvisor were said to be fake, which is you know a huge number. So you're talking about progression of technology, but you know I have you know friends of restaurants and hotels and bars, and you know and someone can try and put their business, the same with accommodation providers, in the floor by making you know 50 fake reviews and going on websites to have people write this. And we believe you know, the technology and using blockchain infrastructure, we can actually combat these huge global problems. So this, no, this is, uh, it wasn't made for this, but um, yeah, um, we've been running for a long time now. And this is an interesting thing we did this summer. So we were testing our application in Croatia and the token. And really, one thing that everyone's been speaking today about blockchain is really that mass adoption. So we're really trying to create trying to this everyday recommendation app where you can quickly make your recommendation in under 10 seconds, share it with your community, um, and be rewarded for it. You know, we, we did a mini music festival where it was, you know, people could come and learn about Web3, learn about blockchain, but also, you know, have a party. You know, not everyone just wants to go to conferences and what we were finding, what we you know, really you know, liked about this is, you know, it wasn't you know, a thousand euros to turn up. You know, the problem with blockchain at the moment is it's very closed in terms of education and learning. So we were working on this, really trying to create a product that people can help each other, but also earn from it. And this is what we did this summer. Uh, I'll let Josh, who's uh, our head of blockchain, quickly just go into what this all means in terms of you know, why are we using Web3 and why is it a value? And then we'll, uh, we'll wrap up here. Yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, so what we did when we created this, we really wanted to make um, our tokenomics um, give as much value to the users as possible because as a community platform, um, you know, we wanted to make it so that, that we grew with the community as they were building the reviews for us. Um, so the way that we've done that is using a two token model. Um, so we've got an internal utility token which the users will be rewarded for um, participating in the platform. So that will be, you know, uploading reviews, helping other people, um, logging in daily, just various reviews to help the platform grow. And then we'll have a, a governance token which the users will be able to stake to earn yield, um, and also they can use that governance token to purchase experiences on the platform using the rewards that they've been, um, you know, accruing using the platform. Um, also, we'll have a DAO so that users who have a lot of the tokens that they're staking can contribute towards the way that we're going to be building the platform. Um, so we'll be putting out voting towards them, what kind of features they want implemented, you know, what they're finding useful, what they want us to, to be doing. Um, and we have a way of putting the, the reviews and the recommendations on chain so that they're immutable and can stay there so that they're not, um, you know, to the, to the whim of any centralized entities that are trying to get those taken, taken down. Um, there are a multitude of revenue models, so we have the token model is one, um, as we, we're going to be doing an ICO next year, um, when the token value accrues, well, that'll give us the kind of buffer period to be able to offer cheaper rates um, for the experiences that we'll be selling. We're looking to incorporate NFTs and take a cut of royalties on there, and then we'll also have transaction fees on the platform for users that are um, interacting with each other. Um, as Matt said, you know, authenticity and trust is, is a big element of what we're trying to do and he touched on with the, the way that we're doing the NFT um, verification on our reviews. So what we're doing is um, effectively cross-referencing the, the metadata that comes from the video reviews um, with the geolocation from the app when users are uploading the reviews so that we can tell that the video that they're recommending you know, was shot at that location, they're, it's authentic that they were there. Um, and what we'll be doing is giving the users um, verified badges for um, uploading these recommendations, which means that they'll be entitled to higher rewards within the platform. Um, we've got a thing here called the three layers of trust, so we have the, the geolocation um, badges as the base layer of that. We've got community upvoting, so users in the platform can agree, upvote whether things are useful and, and true. And we're also looking to partner with some form of decentralized KYC protocol so that we can verify the users are real people, authentic people, without having to you know, work with some kind of centralized or thought about, like, entity which is against the kind of philosophy of the product. What's the protocol, the KYC protocol? We haven't implemented that yet, that's working. Have you heard about Proof of Humanity? No. Check it out. Clement is the founder, is interesting. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, so pretty much like just to finish off, that's what we were doing with trends. Uh, I think we can all agree in the next couple of years, you know, with inflation, with where the world's going, you know, that extra couple of pounds when you're going out for dinner or you're going to buy a coffee is going to become a lot tighter. What we're really trying to implement is this, you know, it's helping to earn and being able to have that verified. I was at, you know, the, um, you know, the, the Web3 conference. I, you know, as, as you were talking earlier, Luca, about, you know, proof of attendance. Uh, and it's something that we think, you know, in terms of, you know, how, how do you get people to interact with token and crypto, you know, uh, and what we're trying to do is to create this new world where it's much more of a, a gamified experience. Uh, and that's essentially, yeah, what, what we're doing. So, yeah, thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, one question. question. One question only. Okay. Okay. So, as you said, um, the most important thing is fighting the fake review in this kind of space, right? And you said you're going to use uh, verification, video verification, if you really you've been in a place and so well, how are you going to do it because basically there are privacy issues as well right so mm -hmm. i'm going to ask for a picture of the user to be in the place or how are you going to do it yes yeah, so it's, it's in three ways so the reviews are video recommendations for the start so you can see the video of the place the area in which they're uploading so that's kind of the first layer you can see it was shot there then we'll also be pulling the geolocation metadata from the video which says that the video was shot at that place and cross-reference it from the data that is on the app that shows that the phone was at the same place where the video was shot to save people taking video and sending it to other profiles of other phones and kind of replicating it. So that's the kind of three so, steps. So you don't require the face of the user? No. Okay. okay. Makes sense. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.